Hello, great patriots. Thank you so much for joining us here at the newsroom. And today we have a breaking news story. This one comes courtesy of GoldenStateTimes.com. Again, that's www.GoldenStateTimes.com. And it says federal court rules that DACA is illegal. DACA has been illegal since the time that Obama signed it through executive order back in 2012. And now it is officially in the courts marked as illegal. It says a federal appeals court has ruled against the Obama era immigration policy that protects quote unquote dreamers. It says that on a three-judge panel in New Orleans, Louisiana, they ruled that the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or the DACA program, violates federal law. A court affirmed a 2021 ruling by a Texas district court. So they had already ruled in Texas that it, that program is illegal, and they suspended new enrollments into that program. So the people that are already in the program have remained getting the benefits from it, but no one was allowed to enroll. No new people were allowed to enroll since 2021. And it says the DACA program provides administrative relief and deportation protections to illegal aliens who entered the United States unlawfully as children. Those in a program can apply for driver's licenses, social security numbers, and work permits, as opposed to a legal path to citizenship. And the Democrats have been fighting for that for a very long time. They want to get these guys to become citizens. Why? So they can vote Democrat. That's the only point. They can care less that they're illegal aliens. They can care less if they, got, they were dragged here as children, they can care less about any of those things. The only reason why they want them to get citizenship is so they can vote Democrat. It says that the Texas ruling stated that the program was a case of presidential authority overreach due to Congress not giving the executive branch the power to grant mass reprieves to dreamers. It says to note the court did not cancel the program for any current recipients, the program is allowed to remain as is, but it cannot receive any new applications while it is under review. So right now, the DACA program is still going through the courts. And the only thing that was stopping it from the Supreme Court making a decision on DACA was this ruling right now. Now, I have stated before, um, I think it was last year when I was giving updates to, um, to everyone about what the Supreme Court was going to hear arguments on, make decisions on. One of the biggest ones was obviously Roe versus Wade, which has already been set. But the other big one was going to be DACA. Now, DACA was going to be heard, all, all the, the, you know, the oral arguments were going to be heard. In October, which is right now, since the, co is, the court is back in session, but they needed this ruling to come in so they can officially shoot down DACA. DACA is illegal. It has always been illegal, and it will always be illegal. All of the people that are in the DACA program should get their letters of deportation because they are in fact, are in the country illegally. Now, all of these people already have social security numbers. They have driver's licenses and stuff like that. So um, let's see what happens. Let's see what the Supreme Court does. If, the, in, in fact, the Supreme Court does actually rule it as unconstitutional and illegal and presidential overreach, then the next phase will be what the Republicans are going to do in 2023 as they retake the House and the Senate. If they are, in fact, going to send out those deportation notices once DACA gets taken down, or if they will cave to the Democrats to try to get these people legalized in one way or another. But it would only be a matter of time.
So let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Should these people get a path to getting a green card or should they get the letters of deportation in the mail as soon as the Supreme Court rules against DACA and labels it and finally labels it as unconstitutional, illegal, and presidential overreach. Let us know in the comment section below. This is a huge win for freedom and for fairness. So let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you guys like this report, make sure you click the thumbs up button just like President Trump <laughs> shows it on the screen. Click the thumbs up button. Share this video on social media. Let patriots know what's going on. And also make sure you subscribe and you click that notification bell. Visit our website, goldenstatetimes.com. And I hope to see you on the next report coming very soon. There's a lot of stuff going on in the news and we're going to be covering it all. Thank you so much, folks, and I'll see you soon. Peace.